Hello everyone, it's Wednesday night, so it's time for Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to show you how I made this fun card. This is <clears throat> with the new My Meadow set. That's in the new um, Spring Mini Catalog. It's a lot like the um, Waterfront and Snowfront sets. Um, it's a great one, and I love it. And it's like the others where you don't, you, um, you can't mess it up because I just started playing and that's what I came up with. Um, the sentiment, I'm going to do a different sentiment. This, I forgot where that was from, but I'm going to use the hello out of the timeless tulips. So I decided to do something different. All right, so let's get started. We'll start with our stamping. And so I have a three by four piece of Whisper White. And I started with the um, little gazebo up in the corner. And I'm using soft suede for this one. And I'll just put him up here in the corner. All right. And while I've got the soft suede out, I'll go ahead and do my sentiment. Um, like I said, I'm using hello this time. So we'll just put it up here in this corner. All right. There we go. And then I did my little bridge next. And he is with crumb cake. So I want to put him just down a little bit from my gazebo. And that's all we're using for the crumb cake. And then I have Balmy Blue. And he's going to be my little stream that's running down from underneath my bridge. So I just kind of made it go across, you know, from both. So it would go through both sides. Ooh, and I bet I stamped that off last time. Oh, I know. I used a different color. That's all right. This one's going to be Balmy Blue instead. I used the... Um, Seaside spray on this one. This one will just be a little darker. And that's just fine. All right, now we just need to fill in with some grass. So I've got, it's kind of hard to see on the blocks. I've got this stamp right here is what I'm going to use to fill in. And this is pear pizzazz. And so what I did is I made sure I had some right there kind of between the gazebo and the um, little stream. I made sure there was some on this side. And then I did, I think I did one more full strength there. And then if you notice, I'm kind of stamping off just to fill in some more green. And you just fill it in until you're happy with it. All right, then I'm going to take, let me clean this a little bit So I made a mess. All right, so then I'm going to take the little grass. This is just the little grass one right here I've got now. And so now I'm going to add just some little grass, just full strength, just wherever I feel like it. I love these sets because you really cannot mess them up. I mean, you just keep playing. And they always turn out cute. There we go. And then I decided, well, it looks kind of empty up here. And there are some um, birds. Some little flying birds. So these guys right here. And I thought, well, I could put those up in the sky. So we'll use our same balmy blue since that's what we used for our little stream and so just put a few birds up here flying by to say hello oh, we'll put one more there there we go all right and that is all the stamping now it's just a matter of putting it together so I have a piece of soft suede that's three and an eighth by four and an eighth and where did I put my here it is it's hiding from me my snail 
So I'm just going to snail this down. So it just has a little border all the way around it. There we go. And then this is a um, piece of pear pizzazz that is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then this is from our um, our designer series paper. It's the they have it for each um, color family. So this is the subtles. You can see I've been using it. So it has all the colors of the subtles color family, and you can get um, a package for each color family. So they're just a nice. Um, designer series paper to have on hand, then you can match anything. So I just took a little bit of this, put it on the edge there. Oh, shoot, I forgot. On my card, I tied some baker's twine around it. But luckily, since I used this snail, we can pull that up. So I've just got some white baker's twine. And we will just wrap this around a couple of times. It'll be a little bit trickier to do because it's halfway adhered to my card, but not impossible. Cut off a tail here, so we've got plenty to, to tie. Just tie, tie a little bow. I usually try and tie a knot first, just because then I don't have to worry about it getting loose while I'm trying to tie the bow. So I'll tie a square knot first, and then I'll tie a bow on top of that. It's always tricky tying a bow on camera. find a little end here now. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. This is just a thick Whisper White, oops, Whisper White card base. <clears throat> Crease it with my bone folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to it before I put my stamped piece on. So I think I've showed you before, I like to just stand them up like this and that way I can make sure I get it in the right spot. All right, now all we need to do is attach our little stamped piece and I'm going to use um, dimensionals for that. So since it's a decent sized piece, I'll put one in each corner and one in the middle just to make sure it doesn't sag in the middle. All right, now we're ready to put that on here. And there we go. All right, that's all there is to it. Um, remember about the special, like right now is celebration time, so you can earn um, free products with spending, but there's also the special going on that I talked about last week where if you decide to join my team, you get um, $125 worth of product for $99, free shipping, you get a pack of designer series paper, especially for that special, a little um, paper trimmer, and then a free stamp set of your choice, which can be anything. There's some... Um, expensive stamp sets out there that you could get free. So um, if you're interested in any of that, let me know. My next class is Monday night. It's going to be a Valentine class, um, but you can use, um, we're going to use one of the new heart suites, but um, you can make Valentines, you can make cards for your friends, you can make anniversary cards for family members or anybody friends. So it's not just, um, it won't be strictly just Valentines. We'll just be using those um, heart suites. So tomorrow is the last day to sign up for that. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And I apologize for this being a day late. I had a haircut appointment um, last night and I didn't get home till five till eight and I hadn't eaten dinner. So I am decided I just needed to postpone to t tonight. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Bye.